Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a tutorial for you today using the Kat Von D Monarch palette. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Um, I have a whole review and swatches video on this palette. I'll link it down below. This was my first time playing with it today for this tutorial, and I just love it. These shadows are so incredible. Um, this palette is, it's a neutral palette. It's mostly warm tone, but it does have a couple of kind of cooler tones thrown in here, like a kind of a silvery taupe. And then this one in the middle I used on the inner half of my lid. It's kind of in between a gold and a taupe. It's beautiful but all of these shades are just incredible they are so gorgeous so this is the look that I did today um, it's a neutral eye it's mostly warm toned but like I said I threw in that color that has just a little bit of taupe to it so it adds some di dimension to the look um, but I really like it so I hope that you enjoy the look if you want to see how to get this eye this kind of warm tone neutrally eye using the monarch palette then just keep watching First, we're going to start by priming our eyes. I'm going to be using my Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. Now I'm going to take Max Painterly Paint Pot and apply that to the top part of my eyelid just to cancel out discoloration. Now I'm going with some kind of a champagne sort of a base. This is Maybelline's Barely Branded. I think this was limited edition, but anything that you have that's kind of a champagne-y sort of a shade will work. And I'm applying that just onto my lids. Now we're going to go in with our Monarch palette, and I'm going to get some of this shade right here. This is Vanish, and I'm going to apply that with a big shader brush. Tap off your brush and apply that as my transition shade. Right above your crease. And now I want to give my crease just a little bit more warmth, so I'm going to get some of Wrath on a blending brush, just a little bit because it's very pigmented and just apply that right in that same area. It's just gonna bring a little bit of warmth into your crease. Now I'm gonna go in with a small flat shader brush and get some of Telepathy, and we're gonna apply that to the inner half of our lids. Now I'm going to go in with a crease brush and I'm going to get some of Shadow Box and I'm going to apply that to the outer half, kind of the, um, the outer V basically, bringing that over into the middle part of your lid and then blending it over into your crease. It's again very pigmented so be careful with it. And then you can go back in with Telepathy and just kind of bring that vibrancy back. Now I'm going to go in with Entomology and apply that as my brow bone highlight. And then I'm going to apply some of Shadow Box to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to apply some of Telepathy to the inner half of my lower lash line. Now take your favorite brown eyeliner for your lower lash line. This is a Mally Evercolor um, Starlight Waterproof Liner in Wild Thing. And I'm going to apply that to my waterline and my lower lash line. And I decided I kind of want to keep this smoky, so I'm going to apply the same brown eyeliner to my upper lash line as well. And I'm staying as close to my lash line as I can. I don't want a thick line. And now just curl your lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Clump Crusher and my, um, what is this, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. Stay tuned and find out what to use on the rest of my face. For foundation, I'm wearing my Estee Lauder Double Wear set with my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is so good. Love that powder. 
For bronzer today, I'm wearing my Physician's Formula. This is the like cashmere wear something something bronzer. I'm just trying to use this up. I do like it. I just wish it didn't have this gold strip. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But it's still a it's still a fine bronzer. It still works, you know. Um, for my blush, I'm wearing Max Peaches. This is so pretty. It looks a lot scarier in the pan, but it's just a really beautiful, neutrally peach color. It goes with so many different eye looks. I love this blush, and I love MAC blushes in general. Um, for my highlight, I'm wearing MAC's Soft and Gentle MSF. This is so pretty. It's an in-your-face, whoa baby highlight, so if you like a hello highlight, <laughs> then I think you'll really love this one. It's just a cult favorite. Everybody loves it, I think. Um, for lip liner, I'm wearing my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Tawny. For my lipstick, I'm wearing, uh, this is Wet n Wild's, one of their matte lipsticks in 903C. I know they have colors, but mine doesn't have a color name. It just has the number, so I don't know if it's something, something peach. I can't remember, but it's kind of in between a peach, a pink, and a nude. Mostly in between a peach and a pink, but it's just really pretty. Goes with a lot of different looks, um, and I like these. I think they're really nice lip lipsticks for like two dollars. And then for my gloss, I'm wearing my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Just a really pretty kind of peachy nude. It's beautiful. I love it. And these glosses, you guys know that I really love them. Mmm, they smell so good. Like I don't even know, like cake or something. So yummy. Okay guys, so that's the finished look and tutorial with my Kat Von D Monarch palette. I hope that you really enjoyed this. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what do you think about this palette. Are you eyeing it? Do you already own it? If you do, what kind of looks have you been making with it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Or have you tried other Kat Von D palettes? Because I own several of hers. Love my other ones and I think they're amazing quality. This is another level. Love this even more. They're just so good. So I would love to hear your thoughts on her line, on her eyeshadows. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!